Welcome, 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 welcome back to the Priscilla Giddens Show. I am your host, your girl, Priscilla. If you are new here, welcome to the family. To all of my returning listeners and family, welcome back. Here is a great big round of applause so you all will feel welcome. All right, so now that we have that out of the way, go ahead and kick up your feet, grab your refreshing drink, and let's take a journey together. Today, I am discussing the miracles of Jesus. I will be exploring the incredible acts of divine power performed by the Son of God. Today, I will be discussing 10 astounding miracles that Jesus performed during his time on earth. We're going to go ahead and say a quick prayer, and then we will get started. Father God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for life, health, and strength. Thank you for the activities of our limbs. Father God, thank you for keeping us in our right minds. Father God, thank you for your grace and mercy. Even though we don't deserve it, God, you continue to show us grace and mercy. Thank you for your your forgiving heart, God. Thank you for loving us unconditionally. Thank you for not treating, treating us as family and friends treat us thank you for not treating us god as people would treat us even when we fall down and we fall short father god you still extend your hand to welcome us into the kingdom god you still extend your hand to pick us up when we have fallen down father god we thank you for your grace your mercy god for your your love your kindness Father God, we thank you for everything that you do in our lives, God. If you never do anything else, God, you have already done enough. Father God, to everyone listening, I pray that you bless their households name by name, address by address. Father God, whatever they need, God, I pray that you provide their needs. Open up the windows of heaven and pour them out a blessing they will not have room enough to receive. Father God, even if you don't do it, Father God, help them to keep their faith strong and know that you operate only by their faith. Father God, you require us to have the faith the size of a mustard seed. That's all it takes. And you said you will move trees and mountains on our behalf. Father God, I love you. I pray that you continue to lead God and direct me. Forgive me for every sin, Father God, that I've ever committed, God. Forgive all of my listeners for all of their sins, Father God, that they knowingly committed and unknowingly committed. Father God, I thank you for your son, Jesus. And this too, um, excuse me, thank you for your son, Jesus. And thank you to, for this day also, Father God. Father God, I thank you for allowing me to be able to come on and do this podcast episode with your people. Father God, I pray that someone be changed just by hearing the miracles of your son, Jesus. I hope that someone be set free and delivered, God. Father God, I pray that the spirit of bondage be removed from them. I pray that the spirit of depression be moved. Father God, I cast down every spirit of stress, every spirit of financial burden. Father God, I cast down every spirit of anxiety. Father God, I love you. I pray that you release the spirit of joy, sound mind and body over your people, God. Father God, I pray that you release the the spirit of happiness, the spirit of healing. Father God, I pray that you restore everything that the enemy has stolen. In your son Jesus' name, I do pray. Amen. All right. Thank you, Father God, for your grace and mercy. All right. We're going to go ahead and get started. So right now, I wanted to go ahead and dive in. Now, the first miracle that Jesus performed, it takes us to the town of Cana in Galilee, where Jesus attended a wedding feast. When the wine ran out, Jesus turned water into wine, providing an abundance of the finest vintage. This was Jesus' first miracle, and it's recorded in John chapter 2, verse 1 through 11. Now, I will tell you a lot of people um, today, they always compare today's wine with the wine that Jesus made. And I can assure you, the wine that Jesus made is nowhere in comparison to the mess that they make today. The stuff that they make today, I'm sure, is made with different types of chemicals, barleys, hops, and 
all kinds of stuff that's just not good for your body. The wine that Jesus turned into, the water that Jesus turned into wine, I can assure you it was anointed. <laughs> I'm sure it was pure, and I'm sure it was the best wine that any human being would ever consume on this earth. So when they compare today's wine with Jesus' wine, I quickly shoot that um, scenario down because it is no way possible the wine of today is the same wine that Jesus made back in his time on earth. All right, so the second miracle, um, our next miracle takes us to Capernaum, Capernaum. All right, that is where Jesus healed a man possessed by an evil spirit. This miracle is recorded in Mark chapter 1, verse 21 through 28, and it placed in the year 27 AD. All right, now the third miracle that Jesus performed, it occurred when Jesus healed a man who was paralyzed and lowered through a roof by his friends. Now this miracle is recorded in Mark chapter 2, verse 1 through 12, and it took place also in the year of 27 AD. Moving ahead a few years, Jesus calmed a stormy sea while crossing the Sea of Galilee with his disciples. This miracle is recorded in Mark chapter 4, verse 35 through 41, and it took place in the year 30 AD. Our next miracle takes us to the region of Gerasene, where Jesus healed a man possessed by many demons. This miracle is recorded also in Mark chapter 5, verse 1 through 20, and it took place in the year 30 AD. One day I did a, a sermon at my cousin's church, and I told the people, if they wanted to experience all of the many miracles that Jesus performed, the book of Mark is just loaded with so many miracles that Jesus performed while he was here on earth. So to all of my listeners, I highly recommend that you take time to read Matthew and Mark. It tells you of all of the different miracles that Jesus have performed. But Jesus did perform a lot of different miracles all throughout the Bible. But Matthew and Mark has a lot of miracles that Jesus did perform. All right. Now, another miraculous healing occurred when Jesus healed a woman who had been bleeding for 12 years. Now, this miracle is also recorded in Mark chapter 5, verse 25 through 34. And it also... Uh, excuse me, my I just jumped straight off topic. Excuse me, just one second. This miracle also um, took place in Mark chapter 5, verse 25 through 34. And excuse me, it took place in the year 30 AD. So I'm going to say that again because somehow I just got thrown all the way off, off point. So the miracle that Jesus performed was healing the woman who had the issue of blood for 12 long years. This woman spent all of her money going back and forth to doctors and trying to find someone that can heal her. She heard about Jesus passing through her town, and she dropped down on the ground, crawled on her knees, and touched the hem of Jesus' garment. And by her faith, she was made whole. And when Jesus realized that power had went out of him he said who touched me and the people crowding around saying master how could you say uh, with all these people crowding around who touched you um, basically they're saying several different people have touched you but Jesus said no this person touched me and power left my body so when the lady confessed that it was her that touched his him of his garment he told her by your faith you have been made whole so all of the years of suffering 
it's over. So the lady was healed. And just like the lady with the issue of blood, by our faith, we can be healed. By our um, endurance, the the will to go on and fight. And it, 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 I'm getting tongue-tied, excuse me. Our will to fight, irregardless of how weak and and feeble we may become from all of the trials and tribulations and the different um, illnesses that we face here on earth in spite of it all the bible says the race is not given to the swift nor the strong but to those who endure until the end so you got to keep your faith and and continue to endure whatever the enemy tries to throw your way and just remember not all um, trials and tribulations are sent and illnesses are sent by the devil god will allow the enemy to test you just like he did job so just know that by your faith you can be healed all right now in the year 31 a.d Jesus raised a young girl from the dead in the town of Capernaum. Now, this miracle is also recorded in Mark chapter 5, verse 35 through 43. Now, another incredible healing occurred when Jesus gave sight to a blind man in Bethsaida. This miracle is recorded in Mark also, chapter 8, verse 22 through 26. And it took place in the year 32 A.D. Now, in the year 33 A.D., Jesus raised his friend Lazarus from the dead in the town of Bethany. This miracle is recorded in John chapter 11, verse 1 through 44. That was a great story. Um, Jesus waited Lazarus, um, Lazarus' sisters wanted mary and martha wanting him to come and save lazarus and lazarus and jesus would not go when they wanted him to go because if he would have went when they wanted him to go then he could not have performed the miracle of raising lazarus from the dead so he had to wait until lazarus completely died before he went to raise him from the dead and just like with a lot of situations in our lives today god will not come jesus will not come the holy spirit will not step in because it's some things that have to die so that jesus can raise it from the dead sometimes we be trying to hold on to dead situations that god is trying to tear us away from so I take that as when you see something dying and you know it's God allowing it to die, all you need to do is say, God, I thank you. Let your will be done. And by his will being done, your life will be a whole lot better. A lot of times we want to do things based on our own will and not God's will. All right. Moving on. Finally. All right, we have um, the the resurrection where Jesus was raised from the dead. Now, this occurred in the year of 33 AD. This miraculous event is recorded in all four Gospels and is the foundation of the Christian faith. Jesus died by crucifixion on the cross. He was buried in a tomb, and on the third day, he was raised from the dead. And when he left, he went and met with some of his disciples, and he told them that he go and prepare a place for us, and he will come back to take us back unto him. He said he would not leave us comfortless, but he would leave us a comforter which is the holy ghost the holy spirit so that concludes my exploration of the 10 miracles of jesus 
I do hope that you have enjoyed learning about these incredible acts of divine power and their significance in the Gospels. Join me next time for more fascinating insights into the life and teachings of Jesus. Now, as I always say, thank you for tuning in to the Priscilla Giddens Show. Today we did discuss the miracles of Jesus. Now, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and review me on your favorite podcast platform. Now, as always, stay safe, keep God first, and stay prayed up. See you next time in the next video.